the human colony, nestled on a barren planet without an atmosphere, was a marvel of engineering. Transparent domes protected the colonists from the harsh environment, while underground tunnels connected various sections of the colony, ensuring safe passage between living quarters, research labs, and agricultural zones. The announcement of a pending meteor shower sent a wave of anxiety through the community. The colony's domes, though sturdy, were not impervious to the impact of meteors, and any damage could be catastrophic. The colony's council convened immediately, bringing together the best minds to devise a plan. Among them was Dr. Elara Singh, an astrophysicist, and Mateo Alvarez, the chief engineer. Dr. Singh, what are our projections for the meteor shower? The council leader, Governor Tai, asked. Dr. Singh tapped her tablet, bringing up a holographic display of the meteor trajectories. Based on our latest data, we expect the shower to begin in approximately 72 hours. The meteors vary in size, but several are large enough to cause significant damage. Mateo nodded. Our domes can withstand small impacts, but for larger meteors, we need additional protection. I've been working on a deployable shield system that could deflect or absorb some of the impact energy. However, it's still in the prototype stage. Can we accelerate the development? Governor Tai inquired. We don't have much choice, Mateo replied. I'll need all available engineers to help. We'll also need to prioritize materials. Governor Tai turned to the council. Let's allocate the necessary resources. This is our top priority. Dr. Singh, continue to monitor the meteor trajectories and update us with any changes. Mateo, do whatever it takes to get those shields operational. The colony buzzed with activity as everyone pitched in. Engineers worked around the clock, welding and assembling the shield components. Scientists recalibrated sensors to ensure accurate tracking of the meteors. Even the children were involved, helping to organize supplies and delivering messages between workstations. As the deadline approached, tension mounted. The shields were nearly complete, but there were concerns about whether they would hold up against the larger meteors. The entire colony gathered in the central dome, where Governor Tai addressed them. We have faced many challenges since we established this colony, and we have always persevered. This meteor shower is another test of our resilience. We have worked tirelessly to prepare, and now we must trust in our efforts and in each other. Stay calm, stay safe, and we will get through this together. When the first meteors began to streak across the sky, the colony watched in silence. The shields, now fully deployed, shimmered with a faint blue glow. The first impacts were small, causing only minor vibrations. Then came a larger meteor, hurtling towards the colony at a terrifying speed. The shield absorbed the impact, its surface rippling with energy. There was a collective gasp as the meteor shattered, sending fragments in all directions. The shields held, deflecting the debris away from the domes. Cheers erupted throughout the colony. For several hours, the meteor shower continued. Each impact tested the limits of the shields, but they held strong. By the time the last meteor had passed, the colony was exhausted but unscathed. Governor Tai addressed the colony once more. We have faced the storm and emerged victorious. Our shields held thanks to the incredible efforts of our engineers and the unwavering support of every one of you. We are not just a colony, we are a community, and together we can overcome any challenge. The colonists returned to their routines with a renewed sense of unity and determination knowing that they had faced one of their greatest threats and prevailed. The memory of the meteor shower would become a symbol of their resilience and the strength of their collective spirit.